model is a reliable path loss prediction tool for modern cellular as well as a land mobile radio system, in especially in cluttered environment. It is a very practical and standard in Japan modern wireless communication system and can be applicable all over the world uh, with a little parameter adjustment. So today we firstly introduce Okumura model, then we discuss about Okumura correlation equation and then we discuss about the parameter especially median attenuation factor and then we discuss about attenuation height gain factors and finally area factor will be considered for today's discussion. The Okumura model is an empirical path loss model that was developed by Okumura et al. in 1960s in Japan. It was one of the first widely used path loss model and it's still uh, reference uh, today and uh, although it has been superseded by many uh, advanced uh, model in many cases, but the Okumura model provides uh, an estimation of the median path loss between the transmitter and receiver, especially in urban areas. The Okumura model takes into account many key factors uh, that was not introduced in their early model that influence path loss in urban environment, including distance, frequency, base station, and uh, antenna height, uh, mobile station antenna height, and the types of the surrounding around the wireless communication systems. Okumura model is one of the most widely used model for uh, microwave signal prediction in urban area as it is earlier discussed and uh, actually this model is very practical model and a combination of many factors which was not introduced in the model before this model and uh, where we can define as uh, L50 dB which is uh, the median path loss 50% median path loss and it is equal to the LF where LF is the free space uh, path model which consider the ideal situation between transmitter and receiver and receiver and then introduce another important parameter which is the AMU F comma D. AMU is a function of uh, frequency as well as the distance between transmitter and receiver and here it is not taking the average value. Okumura takes the median attenuation relative to the space and uh, similarly uh, another parameter introduced which is the gain of the receiver antenna height or gain of the transmitter antenna heights and similarly Okumura introduced another parameter which is related to the environmental parameter he gives the name of gain area gain due to the environmental condition so we discuss all these parameters in detail next slides AMU factor is used to estimate the median attenuation of signal with respect to appropriate frequency and uh, distance for Okumura model. This model is applicable for uh, frequency in the range of 150 megahertz to 1920 megahertz, although it is typically extrapolated up to 3000 megahertz and uh, distance from 1 kilometer to nearly 100 kilometer. It can be used for base station antenna height ranging from 30 meter to 1000 meter. Okumura developed a set of curves giving the median attribution related to free space uh, in urban areas over a quasi smooth terrain with a base station affected antenna height of uh, HTE of uh, 200 meter and a mobile antenna height HRE of uh, 3 meter. These curves were developed from extensive measurement using vertical and omnidirectional antennas at uh, both the base and uh, mobile station and they are plotted as a function of frequency in the range of uh, 100 megahertz to 1920 megahertz and as a function of distance from base station in the range of 1 kilometer to 100 kilometer. To determine path loss using Okumura model, the free space path loss between the point of interest is first determined and then the value of uh, AMU 
is added to it along with the correction factor to account for the type of the terrain. Okamura model is wholly based on measured data and it does not provide any analytical explanation. It is really very difficult to explain. Furthermore, Okamura found that uh, who gave one is with respect to height of the transmitter and another with the height of the receiver antenna. They have very different uh, rate decibels per decade. He defined uh, transmitter antenna gain as a 20 log HTE divided by 200, where transmitter antenna range is uh, less than 1000 meter to greater than uh, 30 meter. And similarly, he defined the receiver antenna gain as 10, kilo, 10 log HRE divided by 3, where HRE is a, which is the height of the receiver antenna is a less than uh, 3 meter. When the height of the antenna greater than 3 meter and less than 10 meter, then we can define the gain as a 20 log HRE over 3. All these variables have a specific meaning for Okomora models and we firstly determine the typical gain and then incorporate in the Okomora equation as we discussed in the previous slide, which gives the empirical relation for the loss in the medium. Okamura model is considered environmental factor to be among the simplest and best in terms of accuracy in path loss prediction and mature cellular and land mobile system in cluttered environment. It is very practical and has become a standard for system planning in modern land mobile radio system not only in Japan, but all over the world. The major advantage and sometimes it is disadvantage with this model is that it's a slow response to rapid change in terrain. The model is fairly good in urban and suburban areas, but not good as in rural areas. Common standard deviation between predicted measured path loss values are around between 10 decibel to 40 decibel. Okumura differentiate correction gain in G area in three broadband areas. One is open area, another is a quasi open area, and third one is a suburban, suburban areas. And uh, at 100 uh, megahertz frequency, the suburban areas value is close to the uh, 5 G area and a quasi urban area value is close to the 16 or 17 and open area is relatively 21 and 22 and they are increasing with the continuously with the higher frequency and reach to the maximum value close to the 35 for open area the area factors and for quasi area it reached maximum uh, 27, 28, while uh, for suburban area, it is close to the 11 or 12 uh, decibels. To compute the Okamura wireless path loss, one can proceed the following these steps. First steps collect the necessary information. Uh, rate of occurrence uh, ascertain that frequency of operation of the wireless signal and ascertain the vertical distance between the transmitting antenna and the ground and similarly measure the deviation of the received antenna relative to the ground and uh, determine the approximation spatial separation between the transmitter and uh, receiver and uh, in the second steps is uh, to identify the environmental factors which are being used across uh, the transmitter and receiver in conditions. Determine the specific characteristic of the land or ground that uh, lies between the transmitter and receiver. Typical terrain classification in compass uh, urban, suburban, rural and uh, open areas. Uh, building type have to be defined because uh, the 
as is the attribute of the structure along the propagation path, including their vertical uh, dimension, compactness, and uh, building material. So this is the second step. And uh, now we go for the third step. Third step is basically the utilization of the Okomo model equation and uh, Okomo model equation to compute the path loss by taking into assays the collected data and uh, environmental variables. For uh, urban areas, utilize the Okomora model equation specifically designed for urban environment, while for suburban areas, utilize the Okomora model equation designed specifically for uh, uh, suburban uh, environment, and then to calculate the signal propagation in uh, open areas, use the open uh, Okomora model equation specifically designed for uh, open uh, environment, and then uh, step four we have to determine the amount of the signal loss in a transmission path. For that purpose, substitute the given values in the relevant Okomora model equation in order to compute the total path loss. The outcome of the path loss will be expressed in decimal. It is crucial to acknowledge that the Okomora model offers empirical approximation and uh, may not consider all particular circumstances, uh, especially for uh, complex propagation model should take into account additional factors such as foliage, interface, and uh, multipath effects. Multipath effects, and uh, furthermore, it is recommended to refer the original Okomura model documentation or pertinent literature to guarantee and a precise implementation and interpretation of the model equation. Thank you.